Hi there, and it's good to see you on Hoo-Ha Sports today. Well, the Champions League quarterfinals are done and dusted. On a night where only a miracle could have saved Tottenham and reigning champions Inter Milan from exiting the competition, the man upstairs didn't make the call. And this is how it ended last night. Spurs needed an early goal and there were three penalty shouts in the first half. In normal circumstances, it could have been given, but Italian referee Nicola Rizzi ignored the appeals. And it was a howler from keeper Aurelio Gomez that gave the Cristiano Ronaldo his 40th goal of the season. Now Real will take on La Liga rivals Barcelona in the two-legged semi-final. And mind you, they will play each other four times in a period of 18 days. Twice in the Champions League, once in the Copa del Rey, the Spanish equivalent of the FA Cup, and in the league this Saturday. How many El Clasicos can you ask for in a season? But for the retreating army, Tottenham's whirlwind European journey gave their fans a memorable season, one of the best in a long, long time. Echoed by many on their Facebook page like this one. Ben Skirt, who also hoped that some of the refereeing decisions could have gone their way. And Ivana Rebic, who I assume is Croatian, is proud of what her countrymen have contributed. Now Spurs must turn their attention to qualifying again for next season's competition. And they have a lifeline as it's deja vu all over again with Manchester City. Meanwhile, in the other quarterfinal, German side Schalke, who sprang an upset by defeating holders Inter Milan at the San Siro last week by 5 goals to 2, just needed to maintain that margin and they did. In fact, they fared better in the final aggregate. And it was seasoned campaigner Raul who got them started with a well-taken goal at the stroke of halftime. Though Thiago Mota pulled one back, Raul's chip gave Benedict Howards the opportunity to drill home the winner. And he took it to set the Germans up for a date with Manchester United. But if you remember a few weeks ago when we reported of Schalke's sacking of coach Felix Magath and hired Hoffenheim's Ralph Rangnick, well, it was an inspired decision. Rangnick has made a perfect start to his managerial position at Schalke. Four wins out of four, which also includes defeating Inter twice. In his victory over Inter, Rangnick said, What can you say? We really won it last week. We defended very well tonight. We allowed maybe two chances. We could have won again if you count all the chances. Brimming with confidence, I see. Well, he has lifted Schalke to ninth in the Bundesliga and will look at their league standings along with the Spanish Premier Liga on tomorrow's show. Coming up, more football with fixtures in Europe's second tier competition. What a goal! You go. Yep, remember we've got that final Premier League match day event coming up. Now to the Europa League second league quarterfinals where the Iberian force is strong for a semi-final face-off. Newly crowned Portuguese champions Porto have a comfortable 5-1 lead over Spartak. Look likely to progress to the semi-finals for a date with Spanish side Villarreal who also have a, an identical goal advantage. While another two Portuguese sides, Braga and Benfica, could face off in the other semi-final. Braga have that all-important away goal while Benfica have just to shut shop and hold on to that three-goal advantage. And that will be it for today. Along with the Europa League results and other domestic European League updates, we will also look ahead to the Chinese Formula 1 Grand Prix this weekend. Yes, it's back-to-back Asian flavour in F1. So join us again as we bring you a guided tour of the Shanghai circuit tomorrow. Until then, I'm Patrick saying it's bye for now.